All right, welcome back. So, um, in the last episode, the Espers broke the seal uh, on their world, and they went wild. So now we need to go and uh, speak to basically the Empire. Um, I can't remember why, but that's where we need to go. So that's where we're going to go. And I think I mentioned in the last episode that um, there might be a chocobo forest around here. Well, I had to look around a little bit. Um, I did some more leveling because that last episode's fights, <laughs> I realized I need a little bit more uh, levels and spells. So I did look around and I did find the chocobo forest down here. So that's where I'm going. So I also um, just briefly switched to Mog so that I could get him some dances. I plan to do a full cycle later, um, but I just wanted to get some of them out of the way now. And we got the crazy ass chocobo music. All right, so you just make your way to Vector and proceed to the next part of the story. I just wanted to play, show off the rest of that music there. <laughs> That's why I was spinning in a circle. All right, now let's save. And go into Vector. Yeah, what on earth indeed. Is anybody gonna say anything different? Apparently not. Oh, but these guys will. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> oh, this guy is just a regular. Oh, you mean you guys didn't do this? <laughs> Alright, so we'll follow you, I guess. Okay. Oh, it's Sid! Okay, well this makes it a little bit more believable. Yeah, it's pretty tr like traumatic what they did, but it's even worse what you guys did to their friends. You should be ashamed. Okay. Okay, so just real briefly, because I'm not going to be good at talking and doing it, uh, you need to run around the base and uh, try to convince as many soldiers to change sides. As many as you can. The better, the more, the better. And this is definitely where somewhere. Um, you know, I, I think I mentioned very early in the game, I usually don't use sprint shoes because I don't care, but I was going to use it to make it faster for these videos. This is somewhere where I would put on sprint shoes. Okay, so those guys don't count. Now, some of these soldiers you speak to won't um, agree with you. So you'll have to fight them to convince them otherwise. It's a pain in the ass, but it works. Oh, this is where... Oh, crap. I think Kefka's in one of these? Yeah. This is just a huge waste of time. Um, but it's still fun to watch. But it's going to hurt your chances of getting as many 
soldiers to turn as you can. It only cost me about 20 seconds, but I could have done more with that than watch him talk. Oh, I forgot you could get items while you're running around. Get out of the way! Stupid, stupid soldier. This guy's probably gonna fight me. Oh, no. There will be someone somewhere a couple of times. Oh, I hope I'm not wasting my time going this way. Okay. Damn right he's in jail. Sick bastard. Ah, you deserve a thrashing. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and kill this guy as quickly as I can. Okay. And now that he is defeated, he will change his mind. 11. I feel like there's a lot more than that, and I'm only maybe reaching halfway. But there's still a whole bunch more to fight. This one is tricky because you kind of have to keep an eye on the ones moving around as you do stuff. Otherwise, you talk to the same ones. Uh, okay, so the guy on the far right is who I need to speak to next. I will take that preemptive strike, thank you. I'm surprised I didn't finish him off. Well, that did. Come on, guys. You got like a minute 20 guy on the far right, and then the guy sitting down, this guy, I got a minute, hopefully there's not too many more fighting ones, ugh, I oppose peace, well that's not acceptable. Kill him! Okay, we got about 45 seconds. Let's do this. I'm done with this area. I think I just have one more lower level. I don't think I'm... Oh, there's a treasure chest I missed. I was going to say, I don't think I missed anyone in there, but I missed the treasure chest. Get out of the way! Oh my lord, get the fuck out of my way! <laughs> 28 seconds. Oh, it's just treasure. Good treasure, but just treasure. I need people. Is there anyone down here? Oh, there are people down here. Oh, crap! I'm not gonna have time! Oh, my God. No. Oh. Yeah. I think I missed two? Maybe three, if there was another one to the right. Okay, that'll just have to do. Um, I know that I've probably not gotten everything that I can get from that event in terms of a reward, uh, because I didn't get the maximum number. Now, here's another thing. Now that you're in this feast, um, you are going to have to actually contribute to the dialogue. And I'm pretty sure you want to be, like, very forgiving, and I didn't even read what he first asked, so I'm just going to say the Empire. Oh, that's right, what did he want to toast to? But I'm pretty sure you just need to kiss ass, and it will help you get more stuff. So let's read through this. Um, we're, ugh, I don't want to pardon him, but I'm just going to say it. I guarantee you there's like a specific list of what you want to say in these situations and um, I don't know what it is. 
So let's see what happens. We trust her. And of course he was lying. That's just what he does. Uh, yeah, why did we have to talk to your men? Yeah, let's talk about the espers. Uh, I guess we'll say they've gone too far. Now, if you, um... I guess why do you want peace now? Now, if you do say some things to him that would be like, you know... Oh, I'm very sorry what Kefka did, and then when you get to say it was inexcusable or something, uh, he usually will be like, yeah, I'm really sorry about that again. And, uh, you know, he'll just continue on with the dialogue. So based on what you say to him, it does change a few of the lines he uses. Um, let's say that we want peace. Yeah, we tried that already. Ugh, I guess we will company accompany you. General Leo. This guy's pretty dope. And Albrook. Pretty sure that's the town to the south. And thus concludes the feast! Alright, so we've got Locke, we've got Terra. And who do we get to take with us? I guess nobody. Okay, let's put you there. Now, just briefly, the reason I put him at the bottom is whenever I get a, like, preemptive turn or whatever, like, where we start the fight first, uh, whoever's at the bottom goes first. It goes from bottom to the top. So it's best for me, since I want him to be a thief and steal as much as he can, since he is a thief, uh, it's best for me to have him steal first. Okay. Oh, neither of them have the sprint shoes. Mm, I'm gonna have to give somebody those soon anyway, so... There you go, Terra. Ugh, and we gotta change our helmet back. Yeah, every time you... Oh, we don't want the Mithril Mail either. Every time you change um, a relic that would change your gear, for example... Wait, is her sword's different too? Oh, well, they're still caster swords. Um, it made her change to the different sword. Um, it, it will change all your gear, optimize it. So you have to, like, if you're doing what I am with some of them and putting specific gear on them that the game doesn't say is the best, you'd have to go and change it. Okay, so there's no more troops in South Figaro. And they're out of Doma. Well, is that all you had to say? Oh, don't tell me I've missed the most important thing I wanted. Okay, let's get out of here. Get out of my way! Yeah, I don't believe him either. Yeah, we totally can't. Okay. Where am I looking to go? I think I'm gonna go to... 
Um, I'm just trying to think of what comes next. Like, down the road. Well, I can't really think of it, so I know I need to go here, and I need to go to the docks. Something's telling me to go to the cafe for some reason. <laughs> okay, so I don't think there was any reason to come here? Oh! I thought I got that before. Well, that works for me. What relics are you selling? Nothing I don't already have. The inn. Maybe there's a clock in here I didn't uh, check either. I don't know why I said check either, but either way. Um... I almost wonder if I just didn't buy stuff from here. Oh, no, because I remember purposely leaving those alone, those treasure chests, because they're empty. Anyway, so you go down here, and actually, I think I want to leave and save first, because I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to want to do stuff. Actually, no, there's nothing for me to do before I go over. All right, General. And look who it is! Selyse and Shadow. Oh, you scared her away. I'm not working for the Empire. Or I'm working for the Empire. But don't worry. I'm not going to grow you. Okay. Oh, and the little puppy. Alright, I'll go get some rest. Still don't like seeing all these soldiers. Alright, so you go to the inn, and the guy's like, Oh, your room's paid for. Have a good one. Is he sleepwalking? Nah, he just, he just can't sleep. Looks like neither can she! Oh, epic music moment incoming. What is going through her head? Wakey, wakey! All right, I agree. I kind of like how there's no music for this, and they just kind of play the the waves um, to make it seem more, I don't know, stand out from everything else that you do. Rest until tomorrow morning? We had to rest until today! I'm starting to think you're not that efficient.
Of course the engine room's dangerous. That's where you keep all your evil plots. And this episode is just full of epic music. Oh, and to be clear, for anyone who didn't know, each character has their own theme music. So when Celise was talking to Locke just a moment ago, that was Celise, uh, her theme music. This one is Tara's. deep. Shadow. <laughs> right away, I can't help you. <laughs> Actually, some pretty good advice, Shadow. A lot of heartless people out there. What's this? Oh, yeah, he doesn't feel good. <laughs> He's like seasick. Oh, shrouded one. <laughs> All right, so continuing our voyage. Oh, I'm walking around again. Nah, I don't like that. Crescent Island, Crescent Island, Crescent Island. Okay, I thought they might have something more useful to say. And Crescent Island. Alright. What an idiot! General Leo's holding a meeting. No shit. Ugh. So, I think he said that Shadow's with us, and Celise and General Leo are going to go on their own. Oh, look at that. Celise now and Locke don't want to talk to you. His turn to give you the cold shoulder. Which is pretty dark. I mean, they both have no reason to do it. All right, and now we are stranded here. So you're just basically gonna go uh, up north to the town, which I guess I'll do, and then I'll end the episode there. Um, it's not too far. Da -da -da. So I realized in that fight that they moved Locke again. Lovely. And Locke ended up stealing some gear, some Gaia gear. There it is. Absorbs Earth. Eh. 
somebody's going to be able to use that. And I didn't even think, but does he need... Ooh, I'm going to give him that. That. So he's got old stuff out the yin-yang. Ah, uh, green beret. I think the bard's hat does the magic, and the green beret does the health. The kung fu suit. I could give him a power sash and make him really strong. Mmm. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, okay, so you're looking better. And I didn't even think for one second to give you an Esper, so you're going to learn some... I should probably give you healing, actually. Mm, I have better healing Espers later, so I'll give you that. And... Yeah, everybody looks fine. Well, actually, I need to check on their Espers. Ah, safe and warp. Fire two. Didn't Ifrit teach that better? He did. Okay, so you're going there. And now we get Shadow as our leader of the group. But anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Um, now you just go into this town and, you know, the rest becomes pretty easy once you get in there. I don't really need to explain too much. It kind of plays itself. But yeah, like I said, I'm going to end the episode here, and thank you guys so much for watching this with me, and I hope you guys have a great day.